Hello, I am Melanie Delorme. Welcome to Monday morning message number 58. And I want to talk about the importance of taking a break while you're grieving. I know I haven't talked to you for a few weeks and partly because I have had the worst cold of my life for the last two weeks. And so I didn't feel that I wanted to record that way. Thanksgiving was in there. And the week before that, I convinced myself that I was utterly too busy to record any messages, which may or may not be true. And thinking about it, the end of August was the 11th anniversary of Garrett dying, followed very closely by the funeral of one of my colleagues. And I didn't realize at the time that that starting the school year again that way brought up so many emotions for me that I didn't even realize were still there. And so as much as I love creating these messages, it makes me happy that so many people are connecting to, with them. I didn't realize what an emotional toll they were taking on me and I needed a little break. And I use Thanksgiving and my busy and my sickness as an excuse when really I needed to be honest with myself and say, hey, maybe you need a little break from that. And it's the same way when we're grieving, especially in the beginning, when there is nothing else that we can think of. You know, if we sleep at all, the first thing that we think of when we wake up is that raw heartache and the loss that we're experiencing. And sometimes I think we need to take a little break, an emotional break, the same way that when we are physically active or working, our bodies need a break to rec recover. Emotionally, we need the same kind of break. And that can look like different things. That can look like a vacation. That can be a drive in the country, a sit in the hammock. It could be escaping with a book just for a little while. It could be binging on Netflix for a bit. Because I know that grief isn't going anywhere. And sometimes it's just important to just put it away for a little while and focus on something else. And then come back when you're ready to do that work. Because it does take an emotional toll on us whether we are able to admit it or not. So now that I've had my little break, I am feeling happy, I am feeling healthy again. So I will talk to you next week.